right, here's the pancreas. I'll put it on low power first. So it's kind of bleached out here, sorry. Uh, now this back, this sort of big view of it lets you see clearly, I hope, the real hallmarks of the pancreas. You guys have seen this before, hopefully this is old hat. These are the pancreatic islets. So these pancreatic islets or islets of Langerhans are the uh, endocrine portions. These are the portions that have the alpha cells and beta cells that produce the hormones. That was the last section. What are you gonna worry about this time, okay? So this time, know that they, what they look like so you can recognize the organ, but then these are our money makers right now. These are our acenar. I'm never sure how to pronounce it. I like saying acini, because that automatically is plural. It sounds Greek. So these are your acini, and uh, they are gonna produce your very simply named pancreatic juice, which is gonna contain lots of enzymes. It's contained, uh, you know, proteases and lipases and things to break down am amylase, break down starch, nucleases. So it's gonna, this is really, your pancreas is super important for digestion. Uh, it's super important for blood sugar level uh, control as well, which is why when you get pancreatic cancer, that's not good. So, uh, a senior cells. Now, let me show you, I promised earlier that that the, that the salivary glands might look a little bit like the, uh, the pancreas. And Brian said, you know what, it did look kind of like that. So if you look at zoom up, this is still pancreas. If I zoom in on it, you can kind of see the, the open space sort of description that I talked about when I talked about the, the uh, salivary glands because these guys both produce a liquid in volume that contains digestive enzymes, both the salivary glands and the pancreatic uh, acini. But your salivary glands don't have these, right? So even if you find a salivary gland that looks kind of like maybe it could be pancreas or whatever, I'm not gonna put any slide on there that it, of the pancreas that doesn't have the pancreatic islets. And you can look all around on this, these, these are the salivary glands. You can look all around on these guys and not find anything. This is the one that looks probably closest, would you say? That's the one that looks maybe the closest to the, to the pancreas, but there's nothing there that that is, a, is an islet. You could look all around, right? It's not gonna be there. I'll even go to lower power. Wow, sweet, bleach. So as long as you can identify those pancreatic islets, you'll be able to identify the pancreas and the cells therein. Uh, as long as you, and if it looks similar to a pancreas, but there's no pancreatic islets, well, you got yourself a cell. Cut.